Welcome back to Battlefield Back Up 2's campaign. Today we're going to be hopping into the mission Sangre del Toro. This is one of the longer missions, if I remember correctly. So before we hop in, remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It helps out a lot, but sit back, relax, let's hop back into the game. I told you we don't know if he's dead. Let's hope he is. Otherwise... Otherwise, how about you tell us about the ship? The Sangre de Toro was a Panama-registered freighter. Went missing at 49 off the coast of Peru. And you have no idea why he wanted it or what was on it or how it wound up in the desert? No, I don't. But if he wants it, so do we. Good luck. Hey, I think I got a solution. Roger that. Haggard! Dude's just running. Ah, he can live. Even though he's probably running to go tell his homies in the town. This is another thing where the game is super bright for me because we're in a desert. And I'm not sure if it's coming on for you guys as bright as it is for me. But kind of painful to look at. There we go. That's the button I've been meaning to find for like the longest time. But they didn't tell me that. That's how you change the camera angle until the tank mission, which was last mission, so... Uh, they were using these images to find the Sangre de Toro. I still don't get why Kirilinko would want some old freighter. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Ghost Rider, this is Bravo 2-2. Two, two. Can you check this frequency? 0 one, one alpha Yeah, okay, three hits. I'm adding them to your nav map. I was gonna say, in the intro I said this is one of the longer missions if I remember correctly, and then loading into the mission it gave you like the pop-up screen that said how many like collectibles and satcoms there are in the mission. And this is the most I've had so far, which basically confirmed, yes, this is a long mission, and plus we have the rule of three going on for us. Um, just because there's two to the right and one to the left, we'll just start with the left one. Also, I'm guessing that guy that was running into the desert did not make it very far because whenever I started driving, the homeboy started shooting the LMG on the front of the jeep and the, uh, the guy who we uh, borrowed this truck from probably is no longer with us, so. Anywho. It made me get out. Alright. Up we go. Let's start up here. Ah, oh, there was people here. I just can't see anything. It's literally a blank wall of, of sandstorm right now, so... I don't know who's where and why they're where, but they are. They're there. Homeboys are going up the rocks. Let's just follow them up. That's about all I can really do. I also got to keep an eye out for the collectibles. I'm not really going for the collectibles, but I feel like people enjoy the game more when I do try to find the I cannot see a damn thing. But they can see me. But, like, actually, I, I can't see anything. I don't know. If you were doing a no-damage run of this game, this is probably where most of the runs end. Unless there's a way to make your, like... AI be the people that are the entry fraggers because holy hell I, I can't see anything I'm not sure it's much better for you guys either because I will admit even though the Nvidia filters I have on my game on my monitor rather make the games look better whenever it comes to brightness like I'm literally a ghost in my face cam right now this this is so bright it's brighter than my key light <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know if these are the best guns. These are just the guns I have the most fun using. So that is uh, what we're going to rock with for the time being. Honestly, not that the guns really matter in campaign, because all the enemies really die in, like, one or two bullets anyway, but... These are just the most fun guns. I do appreciate this mission design, though, since the last mission... I'm not sure at the time of recording this episode how I edited the last mission or missions. I don't know if they're two separate episodes or if I just combined them into one because they were like two literal five minute missions. Am I stupid? Is that not a person? No, it is a person. They just died and their body didn't go down. Alright, fair enough. Um, the last mission or missions, last episodes, rather, because, like, they were literal two five-minute missions, and I don't know if I actually put them together or not. Here's the M60. This is one of the collectibles. Um... I think I prefer the MG3, so after I kill these guys, I'm going to probably go back and get my MG3, but... Bro, who is shooting me? Like I said, if you were doing a no damage run of this game, like... Hitten Squad? Or Mitten Squad? Dude, what's his name? I'm stupid. One of the two. How do you expect me to deal with the choppers? Is there... <laughs> Alright, homie got blown up. I'm gonna die. The mission design, though. The last mission was super linear, and the missions were also, like, painfully short, so... I do appreciate the open mission right now, even though I'm probably going to die to these helicopters because I can't hit them. I right, got that one. Fantastic. Yeah, there's more ammo here, so that definitely helps out a bit. Again, I would use the tow launcher, but it doesn't aim up high enough. I don't even know why it's here. Okay, I think we actually got it. That one died in one rocket for some reason. I guess it's just not as cool as the other one. I'm not playing this game on a, I'm playing this game on normal difficulty, but for some reason this section just feels dumber than the rest of the sections I've been playing. Like there's just so much damage everywhere for no reason. Like there are enemies behind you you can't see because of the sand, which like it's not that big of a deal, but is it annoying? Kinda, yeah. Feels a little unfair, but I guess that's just the, the true Battlefield simulation. Are there anything in boxes in this game? I can't remember. Alright, maybe the boxes don't even break. Just keep moving. Ever just move on. Move on with our lives. I don't know if I ever finished my thought. I appreciate the open mission design of this mission and being like... Silent Cartographer from Halo CE. Okay, it's done. What the... Damn it! Uh, Preston, I gotta stay here and keep the signal from oscillating. You're gonna need to relocate now to a new grid square while I adjust some... some stuff. And maybe I can do a little Aguirre research while I'm here. Ah, oh, yeah. Sangre de Toro. There you are, you nimble little minx. Uh, I'm adding coordinates for you now. Oh, 
Okay, let's rock and roll. Vehicle over there looks good. The last episode, even though I've been uploading this series as one mission per episode, pretty sure the last episode, the way I edit it whenever I do edit it, because I haven't done it yet, is going to be just one episode that has two missions in it. Not that that matters to anybody, but it is a little weird from my perspective as the uh, person posting the episodes, because it ruins the continuity of what I've been doing, but... Like, I just can't justify uploading two episodes that are less than eight minutes long, so... Anyway, the big open mission is a nice change of pace. Ultimately, that was my entire point. It just took me... 15 minutes to finish the thought because Bad Company kept doing things. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have no idea where I'm going, because we can't go that way, so I guess we're going off the, the cliff. What are you doing? Apparently getting us killed. Thank god vehicles in this game have auto rollover, so... If this was Grand Theft Auto, the car just would have exploded. If this was Halo, there would be a flip car option that would have probably rocket launched me somewhere, but... Um, I... Let's go to the one on the left. Let's go to the lighthouse first, and then we'll go to the, uh... The big town. That's a minefield. I'm not sure if they're gonna make me... ...do stuff. Actually... I lied. Let's just, let's just go along the trail. Let's just go to the town, and then go through the lighthouse. That's what the game is probably hinting at with the minefield being there, so... Change of pace, figure out how to get into the town. I'm gonna have a bit of editing to do with this episode because I keep dying because the enemies I can't see because of the sandstorm, so that's, that's dope, but... You guys won't see that. Some ammo, let's head into the town. Staircase? No, there is not. Oh, someone I just shot at didn't die. Now we get to play the game. Which one was it? Unless there's somebody just around this corner. Might have been him. Keep on a-pushing. I don't know what else we're looking for. I'm looking for three more SATCOMs, and then I'm looking for... I don't remember what the other gun I'm looking for in this mission is. I mean, whenever I find it, I'll know it, but I don't know what it is right meow. Oh no, I don't need that. set piece that guy was supposed to do that I guess don't worry man I would never dream of looking another helicopter two helicopters There are two helicopters and they both dropped off one enemy. Got it. 
Fantastic. I don't know if this is how these doors work. I'm gonna say no. This episode, this part of the episode is gonna be really goofy whenever I do the no com uploads because people aren't gonna know why I'm doing just the stuff I'm doing. Like, why is this idiot knifing a metal door? Has he never played this game before? He should know the metal doors aren't knifeable. Okay. Alright, there's a hitbox that I can't shoot through here because that guy is tanked 250 cow bullets. Same thing with that guy. I the head glitches in this game are worse than they are in MW2. Got it. That's why we have grenades. That's why God invented the grenade. That homeboy come from. Alright, let's get up here. Once whenever we find the uh, staircase. Alright, more helicopters. Now we just have to wait for this stupid thing to reload. Alright, we got it. I think we got it, at least I hope we got it, because I'm really not trying to... Uh... Okay. What to do, what to do, what to do, uh, when this needle moves, turn, turn this dial. It worked. I'll be damned. Be all you can be my ass. Hey, if anything happens, you know, bury me at Cowboy Stadium, Arlington, Texas, Lone Star State. But it spawned me all the way here. I wanted my... <laughs> Alright, I guess I don't get my MG3 back. Okie doke, where is the next... Dang, it wants us to go this way, I guess. things up here. Let me go up here real quick. I don't know if there's anything up here, but I want to find out. That's why we're going. Nope. Nothing in here. Alright. Had to be thorough. But again, dude. I've just died. Again, so many times in this mission that you're not going to see. There's so many awkward enemy placements in this game. Roadblock. Okay, this is ambush territory. Get him! Yeah, we got ambushed, and then I can't see where I'm going because I got ambushed, I guess. And now I have an RPG to fight my battles with because it took away my other gun. I think I got him. I think I won the RPG battle. I do have a visual, but he just tanked an RPG. There's a weapon box at the top of this hill if I can get there. I do have a sniper in my back pocket. I just don't think it's the right weapon for right now. Alright, I guess we have to use it. Where is this weapon box?
There was... I don't know who's shooting at me. Yeah, I hear you guys saying sniper. It's just... I, I don't know where he's at. Ah, here it is. It's the F-2000. That's the other gun in this mission that I need. Which is better than what I had. I think I remember using this gun a lot in multiplayer, too. I don't know if this gun was actually that good or not. I think I just kind of liked it. Alright, so that was the sniper that was shooting at me. The FOV is messing with my eyes again. There's so much going on in this game that this FOV just is not good enough for. Bot plays need to end soon. Dear lord, bro. This mission has just been such a change of pace in like every sense of the word from the last one. There's a weapons crate. Honestly, I might just keep the F2000. He stocked my ammo. We're gonna be real exposed to fire all the way down if anybody spots us. I don't know why or if you guys noticed or if I even kept that part in. I can hear Sweetwater yelling there's a sniper. Get him. I knew I should have taken that adult education course. Maybe I'd even know PowerPoint, too. There. All right, now get a move on. I got it from here. What are you? Are you the F-2000 as well? Awesome, they gave it to you twice, and here's another SATCOM. Blow up this bad boy and then dip. Sarge said he was going to stay here. Clearly, he lied. Not here. Another rocket launcher. That makes me nervous that there's going to be another helicopter section coming up, which there probably will be. I would like to check out this tower, even though I'm fairly confident there's nothing here. Yeah, there's the M60 again, if you didn't get it. And then there's probably not even a door into this lighthouse, so we're just gonna leave. Now we get to go solo dolo on the rest of the mission until we help our homeboys finish their tasks. I 
All right, that's, that was my goal. I wanted to destroy that tower. I didn't like it. Didn't think it should have been there. In reality, I just forgot what did the steering for a second. I looked to my right with my mouse and then it didn't steer. Boys, being a controller player most of my life, I'm not gonna lie to you. The whole WASD driving with W being forward and then you strut steer with the other keys, I'm not a fan of this. I may just not be used to it. I objectively just think this is inferior to driving on a controller. The one thing controller players have over M and K, we are better at driving. Like, the controls just aren't responsive. Or responsive enough, I suppose. I mean, there never is any pressure. There's just a lot of sand that makes it hard to see. Is that a person? No, it was not. Take the ATV. Take the ATV and get out of here. Where's the woman to go? Launcher? Oh, that. Alright, the, uh... Well, I'm pretty sure that crate just landed on my ATV. I'm not sure I can... drive this thing anywhere now. Oh, we got out. We're the best. Again, considering this game was made in like 2010, I'm, sh I'm I'm sure the sandstorms and everything are like there for a reason. There's an invisible wall here. Understood. Like I'm sure the amount of sand on screen is like an FPS thing to stop you from rendering in the entire map. But like my God, man, it's so hard to see anything. So there I was. In a ship that was supposed to be lost, looking for something that should have stayed buried. I had my reasons. We all did. Going home. Then I found it. And everything changed. Investigate ship interior. Alrighty.
A lot of gasoline barrels. That's scary, but okay. Okay, physics are physicsing. Stop that. Japanese had scalar tech as early as 43. This Operation Aurora was a, was a suicide mission. We sent these guys in to die. All of them. Wyatt, Faraday. Wyatt? They knew? Yeah. They even had projected unit casualties. I guess they needed to know what the weapon would do. Wait. Okay. Run this code. Sierra Foxtrot 1079er. That's a US military prefix, but nothing even our clearance could reference. How how much? Hard to say. Just the one. Just take it and get out ASAP. This area is too hot. We're pulling all our operatives out. Solid copy. 